In this video, I am going to show you how to create a virtual machine in vCenter. So let's get logged in. When you first log into vCenter, you may see this message in this screen. You just want to come over to the left, select the drop down arrow next to vmmthclass.com, and you will see the data center that you have access to. Once you select the data center, you will see it within inside the server. In order to build a virtual machine on this data center, you can start the process in two ways. You can come over to actions and choose new virtual machine here, or you could just right click on a data center and select new virtual machine. This will begin the process of building your virtual machine. Create a new virtual machine is already highlighted. You select next new virtual machine name. We are going to use the format of our first got last name for the virtual machine data center. One or two will be selected. Select next. Select a compute resource. You just want to select MTS VM 102. Select next. Select storage. You want to just highlight the data store and select next. We are currently using ESXi 7.0. So you just want to select next here. On item number six is where you get to choose the operating system. So we want to build a Linux operating system virtual machine and we are going to choose CentOS. So these are your options six, seven, and eight. This is going to be a CentOS 7 virtual machine. You want to give it one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM memory. We are going to give it 10 gigs of hard disk space. What we are asking you to do here is hit the drop down arrow next to hard disk and go to disk provisioning and select thin provision. Then you go down to new CD DVD drive. You want to hit the drop down arrow here and select data ISO file. You are going to go through the process of choosing which ISO you're going to install. You're going to choose it from the data store, from the ISO folder, or ISO, however you choose to say it. And we're going to choose CentOS 7 ISO or ISO. Then we want to make sure that the box that says connect at power on is selected. And that is it. You hit next. You can review all of the information for your virtual machine here. And once everything looks good, you hit finished. So now that you have built your virtual machine, you can see it one of two ways. Across the address selection fields, we have summary monitor. You can come to VMs and see the list of VMs here. They're all listed in alphabetical order. Here's a virtual machine that was just built. Or you can select the drop down arrow to the left of data center and then drop down arrow to the left of the server name. And all of the VMs are listed here. Also in alphabetical order. And here's a VM that was just built. So you select, once you highlight, you're selecting the virtual machine. It will bring you to a summary page. I recommend once you get to the summary page, there's this blue button over here that says switch to new view. Select it. It's going to change the view of what you're seeing for the summary. All of the component, your VM hardware is listed here. Step number one is to just turn it on. You can select the green play button here, or you can come to actions, power, and power on here. I'm just going to select the green button. It's going to turn the virtual machine on. Once the virtual machine is powered on, you have to access it via console. So we're just going to access it via a web console. So you select launch web console. Via in the web console, you use our arrow keys to navigate. As you can see, the arrows are moving up and down. I am going to install the operating system that I selected. Press enter. Next comes up the Windows start the installation process. As you can see, my mouse works here. I can use my mouse. Everything that comes up in black means that it is already set and you can change them if you want to. So, but the installation destination automatic partition is selected. If you want to leave it as automatic, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to change it, you can come in here and you can configure your own partitioning. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave it automatic. This is important. Software selection. It shows minimal install, which means if you choose a minimal install, you would not get a graphical user interface. You'll only get the command line interface. If you would like to have a graphical user interface, you have to select this and you come from minimal to server with graphical user interface or genome desktop. I prefer to just have the genome desktop. 
option if I'm going to have a graphical user interface. These are the options over here you can choose from. I would just recommend Legacy X and System Administration Tools, all you need. Like done. Once the dependency checks go through, these it will change back to black and you can begin the installation. Here is where you set the root password for your virtual machine and create a user if you choose to. I recommend you follow these steps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.